Yes, sir. So there you have the two feelings. First of all for Argentina and then winger Nunes Piercek scoring against the Lions in their backyard. And now the first try on the tour for Oli Smith. The management have been keen to stress that this game, even though it's been played at home, is all part of the tour. It is match one. Not just a farewell experience. It certainly is a contest when you look at the scoreboard, but at least the Lions are on that scoreboard now. Lions 7, Argentina 13. Johnny Wilkinson with an international kit to his name again. Ollie Smith with a Lions try. Yeah, but the red arrow you see coming across is the decoy from Darcy, and that's why Argentina drift out, the two blue arrows out, and there you go, the hole. Just a little outside drift from the inside centre, Inside from the outside centre, seven points. That was good. Cooper to Wilkinson. Backwards, says the referee. Maggie Simon given a chance to uh, clear, which he does. Well, I can't believe some of the crowd question that. This has got to be six inches backwards at least and then it keeps rolling right. great kick from the number eight Miguizamon. but did that go back into the 22 in which case it should be a Lions line out oh about 27 meters nearer the Argentinian line yes that was the bigger question mark wasn't it going to Callahan Wilkinson Moody and Smith will try and get there. That's a good catch from Stortoni. Let it go, Rock! Matching Jordan Murphy. Stay back. So there's Gini electing to run it this time and give it to Contopomi. Big local roar for this man. Shane Williams. It's turned over for Argentina. And the referee needs to step in here. And Shane Williams will want to be very careful about his ball retention. Tremendous talent, but there'll be question marks about his physique. I thought that's pretty good work there from Argentina. Hands in quickly. No, no, no. Williams trying to make something of nothing now. I think it's very important for the Lions back three not to try and force the issue. It's important not to be too individual, stay part of the team. It'll happen. God, what a Look at that from the Argentina pack, and they thoroughly deserve that penalty. The Lions were standing up, they were forced up. And as we saw that scrum, the statistic there, we saw five turnovers conceded by the Lions, none by Argentina. Test match rugby, you mustn't make errors. The Lions are making them at the moment, and Argentina are punishing them, especially this kicker, Todeschini. That was a superb scrum, that was a lack of concentration, surely, there. John Hayes will not enjoy that as Mendes, almost retiring, puts him up in the air. Look at that, Argentina get a shove on very early, and then Roundtree in trouble. Is he forced up from the angle? That's the question. And remember the players missing from this Argentina side, not just in the front row. We saw Hassan yesterday in the Heineken Cup final, Roncero 2, Pichot, Hernandez in the backs for Stade Francais. These men want to take the opportunity, and Todeschini is certainly doing that. And Federico Mendez, who made his international debut 15 years ago as a pup. Some pup, though, he downed Paul Ackford. <laughs> Not quite the grace that we're seeing from the boot of the fly half. You can't even hear the contact, it's such a soft stroke, wonderful kicking. We come to expect it from that man, Johnny Wilkinson, but an Argentinian number 10 is kicking beautifully. And again, another restart that the Lions haven't been able to win. And the kick's not bad, the chase isn't quite good enough. Clearly very well organised by their coaching team. 
It's the bits and pieces that are going so well, the set pieces, the restarts. Fontapomi looking happy. Well, the, the, the crowd are quiet, aren't they? Because they came here expecting the Lions to run rampant. But in a paradoxical way, I guess the management will be pleased that Argentina are playing so well because they'll want to find the problems, the weaknesses. You can't address problems if you don't know they exist. Cooper to Wilkinson. Into Ollie Smith, the try scorer, losing his footing there. The service is good, the roof is on. The noise is staying in, but at the moment, it is pretty quiet from the Lions supporters, as you'd expect, considering what is happening out there. But as you say, they are getting a challenge, and for that they will be grateful, but they will want to triumph. At the end of it all, this is Stortoni. He did well not to panic there. He showed his coolness, the reason why Bristol brought him to the club from Rotherham. The fans putting out £12,000 to help in that exchange. And you can see there what he's been doing for Bristol in their promotion campaign this season. Amazing season, really, Stortoni, because when he played for Rotherham, he just looked out of his class in the Premiership. And tonight, he's looking like a very good player, as he has for Bristol all season. Johnny Wilkinson is employing quite often, not just for the Lions, but for Newcastle when he plays this kick straight down the park. He sees space there, but you need a little bit more height on it because it bounced awkwardly, but still the forward fullback had so much time to gather and find his angle. If you're going to go downtown, as the sort of Aussie Rugby League line is, you have to put a bit of height on it as well. Too easy for the back three. Johnny Wilkinson represented the Lions so well in... Australia last time around of course these two uh, teams have a history Argentina against the Lions it's not a particularly pleasant one for Argentina but six times between the years 1910 and 1936 pioneer tours really Argentina's highest total in those matches three points well surpassed already this evening The mistake in midfield from the Lions, allowing Argentina this chance to get rolling again. Fernandez Miranda just looking around and checking to see what's on, and it's on on this side with Arbizu and Contapomi. But Leonelli outside, now it's with the winger. This is Leonelli, he's a big man and he will take some putting down. Grucock is the man to do that. Fernandez Miranda to Arbizu, to Federico Mendez. Fernandez Miranda again, Stortoni. They're running their game, Argentina, and they're enjoying this. As every minute goes on, they feel more and more powerful. And so they should. And the tackling isn't great from the Lions at the moment. A few missed in this attack. Ledesma looking to show his power. Fernandez Miranda. Sambusetti. Fernandez Miranda again. Out to Contapomi, interesting pass out to Todd Genie, and here's Nunes Piersek, and he needs to be put down, and Williams didn't do that. Not at the first time of asking. And it's a knock-on, but it's a very promising attack, again from Argentina, and applause from the Lion supporters for that. And so they should be, Argentina are playing very well at the moment. Shane Williams doesn't make the tackle, doesn't go low enough there, and it's... Gordon Darcy helps. That was the third missed tackle in that attack. Shane Byrne missed his own man. Johnny Wilkinson was clearly beaten by the inside angle from that man, Felipe Contapomi. Just not making the tackles on the gain line. But you see, I mean, well, what's Contapomi again now? He's playing very well too, isn't he? But he just steps in very easily. Johnny Wilkinson misses that. And then it was to be Shane Byrne missed the next one, Shane Williams, and that's why they got so close to the line there. So plenty to think about here, and talk about and communicate, and all of those lines of communication have to be set up between these two players coming together from four different nations, but Argentina can hardly claim they're not <laughs> the scratch side. And they've come together at late notice, 
in terms of the personnel that they expected to be available, that they hoped would be made available. A lot of their players still involved in the French domestic competition, which runs on into June, of course. Wilkinson there dancing with the up and over, and Smith picks a great line. Frankly, in the first 26 minutes, not much has worked for the Lions. The Bruno callahan line-out combination.